गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स अशोक पात्र हेयर एंड वी विल डिस्कस टुडे द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एस एन टी टी सी वन एंटी ट्वेंटी एस एन टी सी पी एस एन टी सी पी वन एटी नाइन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डेफिनेशंस सम डेफिनेशंस देयर इन चैप्टर टू both the center tc1 and cp189 so calibration 2.1.1 an instrument the comparison of an instrument with or the adjustment of an instrument to a known reference often traceable to the applicable country national institute or standard body same thing both no changes certification written testimony of qualification but in cp written testimony that an individual has met the applicable requirement of the standard certifying authority the person or persons properly designated designated in the written practice to sign certification on behalf of the employer same for both certifying agency the employer of the personal being certified it is not available for this cp certification procedure written procedure developed by employer that details of the requirements of qualification and certification of an employee to the national standard closed book examination and examination administered without access to reference material except for material supplied with or in the examination same thing for both comparable being an equivalent or similar level of entity responsibility and difficulty as determined by employers entity level 3 detection rate the number of percentage of false calls allowed for the test specimen as defined by entity level 3 documented the condition of being written form same for both employer the corporate private or public entity which employs personal directly or indirectly of wages salary fees or other consideration this should include employers who obtain their qualified supplemental workforce personnel through third party agencies provide the use of certification of those supplemental employees is addressed in the employer's written practice so for both same education and inst institutionalized program prescribed by appropriate authorities that are offered by schools institutes organization college or universities established for the sole purpose of providing instruction in an orderly planned and schematic fashion examination a formal controlled documented assessment of knowledge of sk or skills conducted in accordance with the procedure experience work activities accomplished in a specified entity method under the direction of qualified supervision including the performance of the entity method and related activities but not including time spent in organized training programs this slide difference actual performance of an entity method conducted in the work environment 
resulting in the acquisition of knowledge and skill. This doesn't this does entity include formal classroom training? Does not. include formal classroom training but may include laboratory and other on-job training as defined by employer's certification procedure. So if it is defined, then okay. False calls. When an indication and the grading unit is incorrectly identified as being defect. Grading unit. A qualification specimen can be divided into sections called grading unit which do not have the equal length or equally spaced grading ut units are on flood or flood and the percentage of flood on flood grading units required should be approved by entity level 3 this is shall be approved by entity level 3 that is only difference General examination, a written examination address the basic principle of applicable entity method. Limited certification, non-restrictive test method may be further subdivided into limited disciplines or techniques to meet specific entity level needs. These are entity level to certification. But not a limited scope, but to a limited scope, sorry. Method, one of the disciplines of NDT, for example, ultrasonic testing with, within which various test technique may exist. Same for both. Non-destructive testing, a process that involves the inspection, testing, evaluation of material component assemblies for the material discontinuities, properties, and machines problem without further impairing the rest or destroying the parts serviceability throughout the document. The term entity applies equally to the entity inspection methods used for material inspection, flow detection, or predictive maintenance, PDM application. Entity instructor, an individual qualified and designated in accordance with the standard to train or educate entity personnel. Outside agency, a company or individual who provide entity level 3 services and whose qualification to provide this service have been reviewed by the employer engaging the company or individual. Outside organization, an agency or individual who provides entity level 3 service. NDT procedure, a written instruction of conducting non-destructive test. Personalized instruction may be consist of blend room, cl blended classroom, supervised laboratory and or hybrid online, competency assist course delivery, modular content is covered through online presentation in the classroom and or in small groups. Personalized instructions also enable students to achieve competency using strategies with their knowledge, skills, learning, and learning styles. Same thing here for both same. Qualification, demonstrated skill, demonstrated knowledge, document training, Documented experience required for personnel properly perform the duties of a specific job. Qualification here. The education, skill, training, knowledge, and experience required for the personnel to properly perform to a specified entity level. 
recommended practice a set of guidelines to assist employer in developing uniform procedures for the qualification and certification of entity personnel to satisfy the employer specific requirement so practical examination and examination used for demonstration and individual ability in conducting the entity methods that will be performed for the employer the practical examination questions and answers need entity necessarily be written but observations and results must be documented standardization instrument the adjustment and entity instrument using the appropriate reference standard to obtain the establish a known reproducible response this is usually done prior to examination but can be carried out any time there is a concern about the examination or instrument response she also calibration instrument technique technique is different let me just delete it predictive maintenance pdm evaluates the condition of equipment typically in service by performing periodic or continuous online equipment conditions monitoring condition monitoring evaluate leading performance indicators each item in the pdm program in mentory this leading indicators may be an increase in electrical resistance or increase in vibration from rotating equipment pdm uses principle of statistical process control to determine at what point in the future maintenance activities will be appropriate while focusing on leading indicators that may signify deterioration in performance which can lead to equipment failure the ultimate goal of pdm is to perform maintenance at the scheduled point in time when the maintenance activity is most cost effective and before the equipment loses optimum performance and fails technique a category within the entity method for example ultrasonic thickness testing so this is same for both third party agency the company organization without an established written practice providing supplementary workforce to the employer for example a temporary staffing or company specific examination a written examination to determine an individual understanding of procedures code standard specification and equipment or instrumentation for an entity method used by employer written practice written procedure developed by the employer that details the requirements of qualification and certification of its employees so there are 24 each and uh, but there is some differences so you can see and you can answer if you write like this you can answer the questions easily